Hi guys, so this is my germination station. This is my 20 watt germination floodlight. Um, I'm just gonna move it out of the way. Well, let me put up my, on my glasses. This glasses help you see the true color of the seedlings. So I just wanna show you a bit um, the, of the varieties that I have here. So I have a chocolate habanero, I'm growing a mustard here. Uh, I have a Chinese five color a Cape Cherry Pepper, an Orange Bell Pepper, that one did not germinate, I think this was a Yellow Sweet. Here is my Carolina Reaper, here's my Ghost Pepper. I have two Tabascos, I have an Orange Habanero. This purple one uh, is my Terrestra Chocolate, I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly. But then uh, my Bich <laughs> Chocolata or something like that did not uh, germinate my bishop's crown germinated i have a quixote zan which is actually a white pepper i have an orange bell pepper again i have a red point f1 a red pepper which is sweet then i have a few green peppers so the, i have two green peppers here i have a cherry pepper i have a picante but this picante pepper is actually very small as you can see there it actually struggled to germinate and then this a uh, big one here is a jumbo red pepper. So as you can see, uh, my germination overall looks good. I think the biggest trouble was just getting it to this stage and the process of actually learning um, about the peppers and what the fertilization requirements is. I'm now hardening them off. I'm giving them true sunlight together with this and wind. Wind is important because it, it fixes the roots and hardens off the plants. Um, that is really, really important. And then I still have my temperature probe going in in a heat mat, which is all controlled by this Arduino setup. So let me show you the Arduino setup. It's very gimmicky. And let me just pick up uh, the setup here and then I'll zoom in a bit. So I have the setup this is an Arduino and that is a, uh, a switch, basically it's a relay switch which just measures the temperature of the heat map and was, once the temperatures are too high I turn off the heat map until a certain threshold and then I turn it on again and that loop just keeps on and on and on. Um, currently it's not a big problem to worry about the heat that much um, as well as watering requirements because they are quite mature and you can see these are very large healthy plants i'm very very happy with how this turned out um, i just used the foil to make a container so that i can bottom water it and oh, i don't know if it's actually working but the foil is probably just reflecting some light as well um, this is just my randomness um, and you know i have insulation because i have a lot of newspapers then i put my heat mat and then the foil so that the heat would try and stay inside of the enclosure when they were small. So yeah, thank you for watching.